1940, Teddy Hill bought a small jazz club called Minton's Playhouse from Henry Minton. Neither knew at the time the club was soon to be a key part of jazz history. Every Monday, after commercial performances at the Apollo Theater, jazz musicians would gather at Minton's for informal jam sessions. Minton's Playhouse was critical to the development of bebop. Musicians could experiment with improvisation there, but not without experiencing criticality of their peers and audiences. Mittens did in a lot of musicians as a result, who just disappeared, but it also taught a whole lot of musicians and made them what they eventually became, including Thelonious Monk, Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Christian, Kenny Clark, and Charlie Parker. And if there's two things that musicians like are jam sessions, and a great house band. And so Teddy brought those two things together at Minton's. And so he created the, the terms, he created the atmosphere, he created the environment for what needed to happen to make Minton's a great club for jazz musicians to want to come after hours and play. Charlie Christian revolutionized guitar playing for jazz. His guitar licks were articulated like a brass melody. He also influenced the way both Miles and Gillespie played the trumpet. He moved the guitar from the rhythm section to contributing towards solos. Kenny Clark was an original member of the Mittens House Band. Luke, as he was known, created an innovative style of drumming using the cymbal to hold the beat, allowing him to accent the brass instruments with his bass drum. Charlie Parker's voice exemplified the criticality of bebop. He had a very fast style and attacked the songs with speed and complexity. Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker frequently dialogued with each other through their solos, pushing each other to become increasingly fast and complex in their respective styles. Gillespie was as important to bebop trumpet as Parker was to the saxophone. Never had a performer brought a sense of the avant-garde to jazz like Thelonious Monk. His unique antics and one-of-a-kind style captivated audience members and musicians alike. Teddy Hill made it possible for Mittens to become an incubator for these musicians. His vision of jam sessions attracted noteworthy musicians who developed their styles and influenced other promising performers. This made the venue attractive not only for these prominent musicians, but also other amateurs, which created a very competitive atmosphere in Mittens. As Miles Davis once said, If you got up on the bandstand at Mittens and couldn't play, you were not only going to get embarrassed by people ignoring you or booing you, you might get your ass kicked. <laughs> 